Hey everybody, today I'm going to make pimento cheese. Nothing like a good southern pimento cheese for a pimento cheese sandwich or for to use it as a dip. The other thing I want to try, and I'm going to do it one day on the video, is I'm going to make it with, uh, do fried green tomatoes and make sandwiches and put the pimento cheese and the fried green tomato on it. I had that at a restaurant one time and it was so yummy. But today I'm going to show you how to make homemade pimento cheese. So basically it's very simple. It's, uh, it's 8 ounces or 16 ounces of your favorite cheese. You, want, you definitely want like um, a sharp tasting cheese or a strong cheese. Sharp cheddar is always good. I'm going to try Gouda today um, because I like that flavor and I've had some with Gouda cheese and it's really good. And I'm going to add Swiss. So I've got sharp cheddar, Gouda, and Swiss. And it's a total of, well, it's supposed to be uh, 16 ounces. I'm doing two 8 ounces and then this is about half, so four. So what, 12 ounces. And um, anyways, and then you can add... And you always add mayonnaise. My favorite mayonnaise is Duke's mayonnaise. It makes it the best. And then we'll add seasonings. I don't have jalapeno peppers. If I had one, we'd be slicing, chopping it up and putting it in here. But we don't have it. So I'm putting, this is half of a block of Philadelphia cream cheese, so four ounces. Now some recipes call for Philadelphia cream cheese and some do not. I like to add it because it does make it creamier. And, and I'm not a huge mayonnaise person, but I do like Duke's. So that kind of takes the, for me, kind of makes it not as mayonnaise-y when you add that, that um, cheese to the, the Philadelphia cream cheese. And I guess it could be any cream cheese, but when you think of cream cheese, you think of Philadelphia cream cheese. So now we're going to add, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and let this mix up a little bit. Um, let me turn it. I got it turned wrong. And I've got it on the paddle, and I'm putting it on low while it mixes the mayonnaise and the cream cheese up. Get that kind of all mixed together, and I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And you can use a hand mixer on this, too. Okay, so now I'm going to add, this is sharp cheddar, the, it's an extra ch sharp. Because pimento cheese, you like, you want to have the sharp flavors. This is Gouda. The, and the other thing is, freshly, when you grate it yourself, you get a fresher cheese and it's better that way. So this, now the Swiss cheese, I did not fresh grate, but the other I did. And that was about half of a cup and the rest were a cup. So, and then we're going to, I'm going to start mixing that together and then we're going to put, we'll put the pimento cheese in, I mean the pimentos in after we get it mixed up a little bit. And we're going to, when we add the pimentos, we're going to add the juice and everything because that gives it, that creams it up a little bit. And this is up one whole cup of pimentos. If I can get all that in there. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to add my seasonings and then I'm going to put it back. And this, you know, with the uh, juice, we may need a little bit, add a little bit more cheese. We'll see. And then just to taste, I just add a little bit to taste. Maybe a teaspoon of each or whatever. And with the, gar I've got um, onion salt. You can, you can finely grate onions and put them in it. And that's good. I'm grinding these mixed peppercorns so it takes a little more. I've got this onion salt that's kind of a mix. And salt. And then we're going to add just a tad of Worcestershire, and I can't say that. There we go. And then we're just going to, I'm going to, while I have it like this, I'm going to add it. Mix it. So with the half of a block of cream cheese, you might not want to put all the juice of the pimento in, maybe half of it. And since I did, it's a little juicier than I want. So I'm going to go ahead and add about half more of the, of this cream cheese to make it creamier. But if you put less of the juice in than I did, 
like just put the pimentos in in the in maybe half of the jar of juice then you don't have to add more but this is you just want to I'm just making it a little more thicker you make it to your liking it's got all the flavors in it now we'll let it all mix up now this is really good after it's made if you put it in the refrigerator overnight to let it absorb all the flavors sometimes it doesn't last that long people start eating it right away but this is that's all there is to it it's I'll show you it's that that extra uh, cream cheese did the trick it made it the consistency that I like okay I'll show you and then we'll just put it in that bowl and put it in the fridge but it's ready to eat that's basically it and that's as simple as it gets on making pimento cheese and it's so much better than buying store-bought pimento cheese the other day I had it at the pool and my daughter was eating it and she said I don't even like pimento cheese because she's never had homemade pimento cheese so try it and your family will like it got the pimento cheese in the bowl go ahead and make a pimento cheese sandwich with it and I've got some bread and butter pickles out these bubby's pickles if you're not making your own and eating them these bubby's pickles are really good so i've got those out i've got sourdough bread from the bakery the you know from the grocery store to the bakery i've cut it in half because they're so big and i have put about a tablespoon of butter in this pan and i'm going to toast it on here and i like to toast both sides of the bread but after i get the buttery side toasted then i'll flip it over we're going to have a pimento cheese sandwich for supper tonight or for lunch either way It'll be lunch tomorrow I've got it on high I'm going to turn it down a little bit because I don't want it to get too hot it's getting toasty you know if you're in a hurry and you don't want to go through all of this trouble sometimes I just put them in the toaster to toast it too and I I'll get a little toasty and then I will spread a little butter on it real lightly and then put it back in but the butter's all into the bread and then finish toasting it um, I always like to do that because then you get a buttery buttery bread and I, I toast both sides of my bread because I like it to be crunchy I don't like it to be too soft on the inside And I'll finish cooking the outside. So I'm going to take these out now and put the pimento cheese and the pickles on it. And then um, we'll have our pimento cheese sandwich. There's so many things you can add to this too. Um, jalapenos and you can do a lot of things to your own taste on this. I'll, one day I want to just do a sandwich one with different kinds of sandwiches, different things you can try and do. Show, oh, I didn't even mean to do that, but oh well, we'll have it double. I'm talking and not paying attention. So, pimento cheese sandwich with pickles in the middle. Take a bite of it and tell you how yummy it is. Mmm, nothing better. You'll love this. You gotta be sure and try it. Let me finish chewing. Be sure and like my channel and subscribe to it for more delicious recipes like these. This is so good. Talk to you later. Bye.